Uh, well, I mean, obviously, you know, that's not something that the defense focuses on. Um, it's not something um, that is really a focus of our offense. But every now and then, um, you know, kind of catch the defense dropping eight or, or dropping a lot of guys into coverage and uh, kind of le kind of leaves it open and makes some plays with my feet. I mean, it seems like you're a deceptively good runner. Uh, deceptive is probably the best word, yeah. Uh, now, I, I, you know, I don't think by any means I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fast runner, but you know, like I said, when, when the defense is able to or is, is dropping eight and, and, and focused on stopping Zach in the running game and, and stopping our passing game, um, things things open up a little bit and you know go go steal a couple yards. I think you were 14 to 14 in the second half. How much of an on a roll were you? Well, we we uh, you know we, we got into a little bit of a rhythm. Uh, it was it was good to good to get moving. They were um, really focused on stopping Zach. Um, after after the big first half that he had, and so uh, you know they, they left some things open, left left our left our guys in some one on one coverage, and, and they were able to make some plays, which is you know you know uh, we have some playmakers on the outside, and, and when you leave them in, in one on one coverage, they're gonna they're gonna do some damage. Offense has really improved week to week. Do you like the progression? Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, like I said, it, it was it was always going to be a process, and it was. Um, I feel like we're doing a better job of taking things from from out here on the practice field to uh, to Saturday um, and during the game, and you know we'll continue to improve on that every single day and every single week. You had the two rushing touchdowns. You threw for 350, <coughs> um, and then again you went 14 for 14 in the second half. No interceptions. What are you most proud of from your performance on Saturday? Um. <coughs> Well, you know, um, no turnovers throwing it. Obviously, like not to fumble the ball um, and give them give them three there at the end of the half. But um, you know that that when, when we're able to stay on the field and you know I understand that we can punting the ball is a good thing. And you know again, you know we only punted once, but just understanding that making the smart play and that, and not trying to force it um, when, we're, when we're not turning turn the ball over, usually good things are happening. You've talked all year, and Coach Jones has talked about how, like you said, it's a process and everything coming together. Um, it seems to be the last couple of weeks. Obviously, you've put up 116 points. What has been the biggest change that you've seen the last couple of weeks that's made this uh, offense click a little more? Um, it's just taking it from, from the practice field to the game field. Um, we knew some of the things you guys are seeing on Saturday. Uh, we knew we could do those things. We knew we were uh, obviously capable of doing those things. We just had to be able to take it from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday during the week out to Saturday. Have you been surprised at the pace of that development, that carryover from the practice field to the games? No, you know, there's a point in time where you feel like it just clicks um, and, 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 you know, things just start to happen, things start to slow down in, in the game, and then, the, you know, that's obviously a good thing, and that's what, you know, we've kind of feel like we've been experiencing the past few weeks. You've talked after the last couple of games about how the receivers have been making plays for you. Darius Johnson in particular has caught 18 balls for almost 300 yards over those two games and a couple of scores. What have you seen different from him in the last couple of games? Uh, nothing different. You know, I think he's just finding it, finding his rhythm. You know, I think to, uh, we've we've been able to get get uh, a little extra work. You know, he was kind of a little bit dinged up at the beginning of the year, so um, getting able to being able to get the extra work in, um, get get those get the get the routes and stuff, get our timing down during practice and stuff. You see that stuff transfer over to Saturday, and obviously he's he's a playmaker. And when when he's in there, um, you know we. We have a chance to, to have some big plays, and you know you saw him make uh, a few the other day. After the Houston game a couple of weeks ago, you said that you thought your deep touchdown to Keenan Holman might make defenses back up a little bit just by having that on video. Did you see that against Memphis? Were they playing a little deeper than previous defenses? And did your deep touchdown to Derek Thompson is that going to add to it? Well, you know, I think you know that um, just being able to get out of the pocket um, and and. And get that and get that score. You know that that's that's tough on defenses because they did a good job covering the play, and then you know we still scored a touchdown. Um, and so, um, you know that ju that just puts a little extra stress on the defense. You're back to 500 with a four and four record going to UCF. What's the feel like on this team? Is this look sort of like a playoff game this weekend? It's back to work. Um, you know we understand that each week is a one game playoff. Where um, our goal is still to win win, win conference USA, um, and uh, you know that happens one week at a time. Getting back to an even record, though, have you seen a, visit, a change in attitude or enthusiasm or anything on the practice well, field in meeting rooms? I think the thing about this team is, you know, through the through the um, 
I guess the adversity that we faced at the beginning of the season. Um, you know, you never really saw the team get too down. We were fairly even keeled, and uh, I think that that's good. And you know, we, I think we've still seen that. Obviously, you know, it's a little more upbeat off of a win, but in terms of our attitude on the practice field and how we approach practice, I think it's been the same, which is real good.